the final skincare look. I don't know why I started to say the final look. But y'all, that was everything in my, why am I doing all the lines that go for different videos? My brain is like malfunctioning right now. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, you already know what it is. I got all this makeup on my face and it's time to get it off. We have a bunch of different products to try out. Majority of the things that we're gonna try today are new, which is awesome. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. The first item that I'm gonna use today is the Strip Makeup Whipped Coconut Makeup Remover. And this is what she looks like. We got her in our lore box, so super excited to use her. Uh, it does have a very strong coconut scent, so I'm not quite looking forward to that, but hopefully it gets all the makeup off of my face because last time, I think by the end of my skincare routine, I still had mascara on my face, which isn't good, okay? We don't like that. So I am going to hope that this will get all the mascara, all the eyeliner, all the eye stuff off of my face. This is what she looks like when you open her up. Has like a like pearlescent look to her, which is actually kind of cool. I am going to use a decent amount and y'all already know, once I'm done wiping all this stuff over my face, I'm going to bird box my way to some makeup wipes. Normally I would just get this much, but just because of that last experience, I do not want to have makeup left over. So I am I am gonna reach in and get a little bit more. I think this should be enough. It should be enough. Let's let's hope it's enough. Ooh. Let's hope it's enough. This might be too much. This definitely feels really good. It seems to be taking the makeup off pretty well. I mean, I haven't gotten to like the hard part, like the eyes, but everything else seems to be coming off really well. And this feels amazing. 10 out of 10 for texture. All right, for the hard part, the eyes. <sighs> Hopefully this comes all the way off. I do not want to still have freaking mascara on my eyes. Like it just makes me feel ugh, just gross. Oh my God, my eyes are burning. Oh, I don't know what is making my eyes burn because man, I never have a burning eye after those julep wipes. I'm gonna go rinse my face in the sink because my eyes are like literally on fire. Y'all, I have no idea what happened. I never have like a burning sensation in my eyes when I'm taking off my makeup. But today, man, it felt like just like the worst tingle on my eyeball ever. Like I'm surprised my eyes are not bloodshot red. It seems to have gotten most of the mascara off. Not all of it though. Like I'm still getting little dark spots and losing eyelashes, see? Typically, I don't like to see that. Hopefully, by the end of this whole thing, all this will be off of my face. We'll see. But I'm actually gonna go get a different towel because this one is covered in mascara and I'm not about to wipe it back on my face. And I'm back with a fresh new towel. Now, we're actually gonna try another new product. Now, this one I actually got from my FabFitFun box. And this is the OSHA Ocean Cleanser. Now, this stuff smells amazing. It literally like trans transports you to a beach house right on the ocean. So I'm very excited to use it. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna wet my face really quick and then we're gonna, we're gonna cleanse, okay? We're gonna get our cleanse on. All right, let's go ahead and get it popping. This stuff smells so good, oh my God. I actually don't think that I have any mascara left. Or well, maybe just a little bit, just like the tiniest amount. So I don't think we're gonna feel icky and gross after, you know, our skincare routine, which is like the opposite feeling you should feel. You should feel like super clean and refreshed after a skincare routine, but we didn't use this uh, BS right here. We used something a little bit stronger. My skin feels super duper clean and we're actually gonna do some exfoliating. This is the Happy Skin by 
by Lush. This stuff smells absolutely divine. As you can see, I've dipped into her. This is lasting a decent amount of time. You really don't need much, like this much and, well, let me get that little squig right there. This much and you're good. I probably got three to five more uses out of this bad boy and I've already used her several times. We're just gonna get our exfoliation on. This stuff smells absolutely delicious. Probably one of the best smelling skincare that I've tried. And I'm not rubbing super hard, okay? I'm just ever so slightly rubbing my skin because you don't want to mess up the barrier. You, you want to restore the barrier, not mess her up. All right, that's it. We don't need to do no more. That's enough exfoliating. Well, that's enough exfoliating for the rest of the face. Next, we're gonna actually go in with, is it this way or the, yeah, it's this way. The Aceology, and this is just a nice little lip scrub. Gotta attack the crusty dusties, okay? Launch a full fence. Oh, I never thought about doing that. Just putting a thin layer right there and this is going, did I just come up with a hack? All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this all off of my face and then we'll move on to the next step. And we are nice and exfoliated. Now, the next thing that I'm actually gonna put on my skin is actually for my lips, okay? I just don't want my lips to get nice and dry. <laughs> well, that's not really nice. I do not want my lips to get dry while I'm waiting for the last step of my routine. So I'm actually gonna go in with these candy melts. It's like a lip something, some kind of vegan lip. What is this? I know it's expired. Hipsy. It's like a vegan lip balm. I couldn't think of the word balm. But yeah, this is just my candy melts. I like to put that on in between my skincare just so that my lips don't like crust out while I'm waiting for that final step. Now I'm actually gonna go in with my Ren Clean Skincare Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask with AHA. And y'all, I've been using her. <laughs> She's like halfway gone. I love how she smells. I love how she makes my skin feel. So I've been using her. This is probably one of the like first full size products that I'm going to empty. We are nice and covered in mask. I'm gonna go let this sit for 10 minutes, okay? I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes and then I'll be right back to take it off and we'll move on to the next step. And we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and we will move on to the next step. My hair is like all over the place, hold up. <laughs> Move this back a little bit. I'm actually gonna do another sheet mask. Well, not another, I didn't do one in this video. I'm just gonna do a sheet mask. And this is the Hyaluronic Acid Mask Sheet. <laughs> mask Sheet by The Same. If y'all don't know, when I do my sheet masks, what I like to do is I put the mask on originally, like how it comes out. I always leave the essence kind of like sitting off to the side. And halfway through my sheet mask, I like to go back in and take the essence that's still in the little baggie and I rub it all over my face to like rehydrate the mask. This one feels so good. Like it has a cooling effect to it. It feels luxurious, oh my God. What I really wanna get are like those lip masks. I haven't tried one of those yet. All right, y'all, I'm gonna let this sit for, how long does this sit? Ooh. Okay, at first I thought it was all in like Korean because this was all I saw with like the Korean letters. This one sits 10 to 20 minutes. We're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. We're gonna come back, put the rest of this essence back on the sheet mask and then sit for another 10 minutes. It's been about about like 10 minutes. So I'm actually gonna take the essence and then apply it to the rest of my face just to kind of like rehydrate the mask. I mean, might as well. And I will be back in 10 more minutes. All right, so I'll, this has been sitting on my face for about 20 minutes in total. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. Now for the things that are gonna just like stay on my face. First, we're actually gonna go in with another new product. And this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA for Tight Toner. And this is what she looks like. She's so itty bitty and cute. Um, we got this in our Ipsy Glam bag. And she thick thick, okay? When I think of a toner, I think of it like more loose, watery kind of thing going on. This stuff is more like a serum. It's like difficult to even get out. Like y'all see that? Like 
she fit fit, but they call it a toner, so we'll use it as a toner. And it does have like kind of a watermelon scent to it, like kind of, but then not really at the same time. It smells good. I think the smell has grown on me. We're nice and serum toned, toned with a serum. Next, we're actually gonna go in with an actual serum that, you know, isn't parading around like a toner. And this is the Kira Moon Flower Melon Super Hydra Serum. Now this stuff is super cute. It does have a very floral scent. So if you do not like floral scents, do not reach for her. We're gonna be like the little Instagram people and we're gonna just go ahead and do one of these. Ooh, see that drip? Okay, one more, one more little drippy drip. Okay, yeah, we Instagram ready. Feels like I'm running through a field of flowers, which I mean, isn't bad. Like I don't hate it. We're nice and uh, serumized. <laughs> Next, we're actually gonna go in with something that we've used before. Did we use this already? I don't know if I've used this on the channel yet, but I have used it like in my regular day to day. But maybe this is the first time I'm using her on the channel. We'll, we'll see. This is the Well People Revitalizing Dew Snow Mushroom Eye Gel. Now this stuff is really nice. I've been enjoying it. Again, Instagram ready. Just put a little bit right there, a little bit right there. And it's just like a little eye gel. Rub that into the eye area. Well, not into your eyes, but just like right underneath. I put a little bit on my smile lines too. <laughs> And now we're ready for the next step. I'm actually gonna go in with my squalene facial oil. You don't need a lot of this, okay? We already got a lot going on. We do not need a ton of this stuff. Just a little bit right there, a little bit right there, a little bit right there, and then you're good. This stuff smells amazing. I love skincare that has like a citrus, a citrus note to it. Next, we're actually gonna go in with another new product. And this one was an add-on to my glam bag or boxy charm, one of the two. I added it on to the box. And this is the Tatcha the Dew Skin Cream. This little itty bitty thing that is super freaking adorable. I think that's so cute. Like I said, I was a bit disappointed that this was as tiny as it was. Y'all, she's thick, but she's not as thick as like JLo Beauty or the Tula. It's not as thick, but it's still pretty thick. And then we're just gonna rub that in. It's our last little moisturizer. See, when we do these super extra routines, we be moisturized, okay? We got like, we got like one, two, three, four, oh, five, damn near five levels of moisture on our face. My skin always feels so dang blasted and luxurious after these super extra skincare routines. But I can't do them all the time because then my skin will literally fall off my face. Second to last is another tried and true, and this is my Egyptian magic. I just like to put this underneath whatever I put on my lips because it really does help with the crusty dusties. We want to be crusty no more. <laughs> to finish this whole thing me bobber off, I'm not gonna use my tried and true like I usually do. We're actually gonna try something different. And this is the Kinship Super Melt Vegan Lip Jelly Mask. I believe I got, is it that way? Yeah. I believe I got this in one of my mystery ipsies. That's where most of this stuff comes from. It's just all those plethora of mystery ipsies that I purchased and I purchased two more. <laughs> I purchased the puffer jacket looking ones and I'm glad I purchased them when I did because the big one sold out. This is what she looks like, super cute. And this feels really good. I actually really like this. So I'm gonna put this in rotation. So we're gonna go with this, and 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 we're gonna, go this, and we're gonna, we're gonna make it do what it do. This is the final skincare look. I don't know why I started to say the final look. Like, it's just my face. It's extra glassy today. Cause this freaking toner is another serum. So it's just like extra, extra glassy today. But y'all, that was everything in my, why am I doing all the lines that go for different videos? What is wrong? My brain is like malfunctioning right now. Michelle, that's the end of my routine. I think this was a 13 stepper, which, you know, isn't as crazy as some of the other ones that I've done where it was like 16, 15 steps. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you, 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 can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.